In this video, we'll create an HTML5 sticky navigation menu using Bootstrap. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. So at the top, we have our Bootstrap text on the left where optionally you can add your logo. And then if we scroll down with the text beneath, we'll see that it's staying sticky at the top. And then as we flex it down, our navigation links are going to turn into this drop down button that appears on the right up at the top here. So once we select it, we have all of our navigation items displaying beneath. Okay, so let's go ahead and flex it back up here, and then I'll show you what we need to get started. So in the description of this video will be a starter file download if you want to follow along, as well as the complete download. So inside of the starter files, or starter file package will be index.html and I'm going to be opening it with Sublime Text which is a free text editor and then I'll also have it open in Google Chrome as we build the HTML sticky menu. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and then let's go over to index.html. So we already have a bunch of stuff started for us here at the top we have our title so bootstrap for navigation menu then we have the bootstrap CSS uh, link to that file, then the latest version of jQuery, as well as the latest version of popper.js, and then we have our bootstrap.js file here with bootstrap4, and then a simple style here for the paragraph text that we're seeing, so it fills up the screen and we can get a feel for the sticky navigation. All right, so let me open up index.html. As you can see on the version we're working on, the navigation menu isn't displaying at the top, and all we have is the text. So let's go ahead and get started with our first tag inside of the body section now. Okay, so we'll start our navigation off with the HTML5 tag nav, N-A-V, and then we're going to give this a class and reference some bootstrap classes here. So we're going to say navbar, and then navbar-expand-md for medium or 768 pixels in bootstrap lingo and then we'll say navbar-dark and then bg dark for the dark styled bootstrap navigation and then fix top so our navigation stays fixed at the top of the page okay so next let's add another div class and we'll say div class container you can also say container-fluid to keep your logo and navigation pushed all the way to the left and right of the screen. Then we'll start our link here for the navbar brand. So this is where you can add your logo if you don't want the bootstrap text there. So we'll say href. You can do the pound symbol or you can do a link to index.html for example. And right here is where you can add your image in between the A tags. For now, I'm just going to write bootstrap in here. Okay. And then let's drop down and let's create our... So we're going to create the, uh, the drop down button next. Okay, so here is the button that we're going to start to lay out. So let's start with the HTML5 tag button. And we're going to give this a class and we're going to call it navbar toggler since it's the toggle for our drop down navigation. And then we're going to say type is button and then data toggle collapse because we are collapsing our navigation menu with the button. And then we'll say data dash target navbar responsive. Okay, and then area controls navbar responsive with a capital R. and then area expanded false and 
area label toggle navigation okay so that does it for our button except for we need to add our icon because if we refresh right now we're just gonna see a little sliver there of a button okay so we're gonna say span class And then navbar dash toggler dash icon. Okay, and now if we refresh, there we have the button appearing with the three tiers for the icon. So let's drop down beneath the button tag and we're going to start our div class for the collapsible menu here. So we'll say collapse space navbar dash collapse and then we're going to give it its ID that we referenced earlier for the data target so ID navbar responsive with a capital R so that's what will be toggling and what will be collapsible this ID all right, so now let's start our unordered list for our navigation item. So we'll say UL class navbar dash nav. And then we'll say ML auto to have it pushed off to the right when it's at its full width. You can say MX auto if you want it centered. Then we'll close out our unordered list and let's start our list items. So we'll say nav dash item for our li class here and we're gonna do our home link first so this is you always want your first list item for bootstrap uh, whether it be a image slider or a navigation to be active have the active class so nav dash item active and then we can close off our list item and inside of it we will have our link so a class nav dash link and then href and you can do index.html or just the hashtag to keep us on the same page here for the first link and then we'll write home which will be our text that will appear for our navigation link and optionally you can say span class sr dash only and then write in parentheses current or just current and this is for people who use screen readers whenever you see SR only in HTML okay so then we'll close off our link here and let's go ahead and check out our navigation so there we have our home link appearing in white since it's the active link so let's go ahead and add the rest of our links now So let's drop down under this list item and create a new list item here. So we'll say li class just nav dash item without the active class there. And then close out our list item. And then we'll just need our link. So we'll say a class nav link and then href. I'm just going to do the pound symbol for now. And then the text for this one is about, and then we can close out our link. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and paste it a few times over to save us some time here for the remaining three links. So we have about services portfolio contact okay so the third is services then portfolio and then contact lastly okay so let's go ahead and take a look at it here in Google Chrome if we refresh there we have all of our navigation links appearing for us without the use of any CSS so that does it. I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, 
and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you.